Hello everyone. I'm Bhanu Prakash. I'm a 17-year-old human calculator. One can say that I'm number fetish. And before I go ahead and talk about my journey, about how a regular school-going kid has become the fastest human calculator in the world, I'd like to show you guys a bit of number magic. So I'd like to call upon a few volunteers here. Anyone who'd like to volunteer? Anyone who has a, yeah, right there, one. And I'd need one more. Yeah. Uh, switch, come down. Switch on the calculator application on your mobile phone. So that, yeah. Where's the other one? A big round of applause for our volunteers. Come here. So I don't know what calculator applications these people are using here. So I want to make sure that they're using the correct ones. Because I don't want to get caught being doing the sum correctly. So yeah. Could anyone give me a two-digit number? Anyone from there? Yeah. 72. Uh, one more? 78. Multiply them together to get a 5616. Yeah, so your calculator is working fine. <laughs> is it a 56162? Yeah, cool. So, to begin with, I will be doing a demonstration called the back and forth addition, for which I will be start starting from the right hand corner of the longest row in this room. Yeah, that one, maybe. Yeah, I want each of you to call on a two digit number. Each of you from there. Yeah, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there. Uh, OK. So as they keep telling the numbers, I'll be saying plus, and you need to add them together to see, to cross-check my result anyways. Yeah, so begin. 22. 22. Plus? Uh, All right, plus? 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 30? Yeah, plus? 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 89? 89? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, it's, it's 421 anyways. It's 421. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, all right, let's uh, avoid the human error here. So we'll do that thing on the calculator there. So uh, could you please switch the application? Yeah. Yeah, so what is going to happen now is that There'll be two digit numbers being flashed on the screen. And I'm going to add them all up. You can try to. So yeah, begin. That's <laughs> 487. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> can you switch back to the other one? Oh, no, I want you to stay here for a while. <laughs> so. We'll be doing something more than this right now. Can you please uh, give the, yeah. Give it to someone uh, who'd like to ask me some, something from there. Yeah. Since we have a, like, a constraint on the time, I have more than 2,000 calculations printed there. There's no way that I could memorize them. So I want you to ask the question. I want you to cross-check. There are answers there anyways, but yeah, just. So 50 multiplied by? It's 50, right? 50 yeah. Multiplied by 451925. All right. Divide by 90389. All right. Plus 674. 1124. <laughs> oh, oh, please check that again. Uh, Ask me one more. Okay. Okay. Multiplied by four hundred and twenty-five thousand two seventy. Okay. Divide by eighty-five zero five four. All right. Plus two zero seven. Five eighty-two. Yeah. All right. There it goes. So uh, we'll be doing one more thing. The thing is that. I've memorized all the calendars from the year 1900 to the year, to the year 2100. 
So, does anyone know the day on which you were born on? The day as in Friday, Monday. Yeah, you do? All right. Uh, which year were you born on? Born in? 82. Okay, 82. And which month was it? Okay, yeah, May, and uh, which day was it? Uh-huh. So, was it a Monday? Yeah. <laughs> so let's have one more of these. All right, yeah, there it goes. Um, 95? 95? September? Um, September is tricky, but, <laughs> all right. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, it's 95? And September 13. So that's a Wednesday. Does anyone want to know which day they were born on? All right, yeah. Yeah, which year was it? 1994? 31st May. Uh, Tuesday. Check it, check it once you're back. <laughs> Does anyone want to know any day in the future, like you, sir, uh, any day in the future, like till 2100? 22nd March. Uh, the year first, because I'll have to browse through that calendar first. 2020. Okay, 2020. 22nd March. 22nd of March, that'll be a Monday. A sad one. All right, uh, I'll call you upon again, because there'll be one thing in the end. So, yeah, thanks for the volunteers. Ever since my childhood, I love numbers. What I loved more was to be quicker than anyone else. I was a mischievous kid at school. I was doing quick mathematics. I was good at academics. But then came one incident which changed my li life completely. It changed my life so much that I can't even imagine myself without it today. It was in 2005, on a festival evening, I met with a road accident. The injury was severe. I had to suffer a skull bone fracture. And I had 83 stitches around my head. And I was lucky enough, really lucky enough, to come out of it alive. The first two months after the injury, the only thing I remembered was to wake up sometime in the day to look at my mom and dad, who were hoping that I would come back from it. And I never thought that I would be able to at least walk. So after the two months, seeing me recover quickly, I was pretty much able to think properly at least. So that was when my dad brought me a puzzle book. And since I was not allowed to go to school, I was cut off from the, whole, from the world. I didn't have anything else to do. I started thinking about puzzles. I started thinking about numbers, about calculations, and uh, I didn't have a photograph of the sheep herd in my room, so I used to count tables in my, in my mind till I fell asleep. And then, here I am today, holding four world records and 50 records in the Limca book, and yeah, that incident was the, was the one which changed my life completely. I was, I consider myself to be lucky that I met with that accident that day because although it was not a very happy incident, but for that I would have just been a normal person like anyone else, not recognizing my own talent. I think that was my magical moment. One might find magic, their magical moments in I don't know, the weirdest of circumstances like me, or, or maybe it, it, it might just happen because after all it's magic. And once it happens, the things which you feel are impossible fall in your reach. And that's what happened later on. In the year 2015, I broke the mental speed barrier by racing against a calculator. For all those who don't know what the mental speed barrier is, a lot of people believe that a human brain can never be quicker than a calculator. 
a human brain can never go quicker than a calculator because yeah probably whatever reason some people do believe that and in the year 2015 i raced against a group of 100 calculators at a time and i won against all of them and now as a celebration of magic as a celebration of achieving the impossible i'm going to demonstrate you that particular thing of racing against a calculator so the volunteers who were here before want you guys to come here again and Everyone in the crowd can open their calculators on their phones and I'll be telling you what to do and I'll be doing the same in my mind so you'll know the difference between the speeds. The thing is that I'll be taking a two-digit number, I'll be adding it to itself as fast as I can and I'll be speaking out the intermediate results and you'll have to do the same. It's something like if I say 38 you'll have to do a 38 plus 38 plus 38 and you should be keep you should be going on and after some time we are going to compare our results and see who's ahead please make sure that you don't type the wrong button saying 3888 it'll actually go bigger so who wants to select that two digit number anyone yeah no tell me the two digit number so that we all can start at a time all right 3 2 1 Start. 87, 174, 261, 348, 435, 522, 609, 696, 783, 870. Has like anyone? All right, we'll do this again. Um, we'll take a three digit number this time. Someone, give me a three digit number. Yeah. 940, that's a two digit number, like zero. Yeah. 941. 941, yeah. So, we, I'm going to start right now, and all of you guys. Do it at the same time. 941 188822 Okay, sorry. 941 Anyone here? All right, yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot. I don't know what, how much of a point I convey here, but showing about what I did by overcoming one really bad experience of mine with life, I'd like to tell one thing and end my talk, that we are all capable of achieving the impossible. It's just that we have to believe in it. Thank you.